But it was fun while it lasted because you could get up really fast on a boat. It was an elevator, essentially. It was really cool. And now it's just an aquarium. <laughs> oh, wow. It works for you, doesn't it? <laughs> Going down? Hey, guys and gals. Pauly Jr. here. It is May 17th, 2019. At the time of this recording, anyway. And Minecraft is turning 10 years old this year. Yay. Happy birthday, Minecraft. And we are about to take a, uh, a quick tour, a trip down memory lane to have a look at my old tutorial worlds. We'll start with the super old one. And this was um, started back in 2010. So it's been nine years for me. Um, in the summer of 2010, I uploaded my first video and it was called How to Survive Your First Night. And then uh, that kind of led to a new series about a year later. And this was a much longer series. But um, this one right here was the very first one. It's super old <laughs> and I still have it available and you guys can download it. There will be links down below in the description. You can grab the old tutorial world and you can even grab every episode world with the second series um, from episode one all the way up to 89 where we defeated the Ender Dragon. So yeah, check them out. If you want to follow along, feel free to grab it, download it, and then come back and restart the video. But... Uh, I figure we'll go back to the super old world and just have a peek. We'll fly around, have a look at the old stuff. Because many of you, when you first saw this, uh, you were you were kids. A lot of you might have been like 8, 9, 10 years old, maybe even younger. And now, you're, you're adults. So I think that is really, really cool. Uh, so let's do it. Let's play this first world. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, convert it because this was generated with an alpha version that is so old. I mean, it predates chickens. I mean, chickens weren't even in the game back then. No charcoal, no beds. <laughs> Zombies drop feathers. That's how old that is. But no big deal. We don't uh, We don't really need to back it up. I know what I'm doing. All right, here we are. Here we are at the original spawn point. World number one. Episode number one. Although I didn't start recording right here. This is where I, I generated the world, but I wanted to find... A nice location near trees and coal. Because that first episode, believe it or not, is only like nine minutes long. We don't really accomplish very much. <laughs> but it was enough to help you survive your first night. Because like I said, there were no beds back then. Uh, we didn't have all the all the cozy creature comforts that you guys have now. It was a lot harder to survive. But yeah, this is the original spawn point. And I put some gear in here just in case we died and had to get back to our base, which is over in that direction. Because back in those old days, the original spawn point uh, was where you, well, you would respawn there, obviously, and there were no beds, so you couldn't change your spawn point. And it could be very, very far from your base. So it was a good idea to have that extra equipment there, right? All right, anyway, let's go to where I originally started recording. And again, this goes back nine years. I was very, very bad at this. My first episode ever. Uh, first YouTube video ever. And it was very cringy, but I'm going to put a link down below to that video you guys could check it out and follow along uh and also download the map so hidey hole number one is beyond this pillar near waterfall right so i still had not started recording yet still looking for a good place to start and this is where i decided right here because it was coal in that in that cliff side right there and oh look at this the tree is here the very first tree i chopped the first one i punched <laughs> Yeah, the first thing you do in Minecraft, right, is punch wood. And uh, that's how I came up with the name punch wood. And this is the tree right here. I left the tippity top. Oh, for shame. For shame. So just imagine me right here, day one, punching the tree, making the tools, you guys, showing you the very, very basics. Nine years ago, which led to a whole series, uh, actually two different series. The first series ended, I think, at episode number 38-ish or something like that. Um, and then version 1.0 came out and I decided to uh, switch to that and start from scratch. And maybe we'll go take a look at that world too. But this one right here is the one that got me into the Guinness Book of World Records because it's the first uh, Minecraft LP in the world. Um, that is in the Gamer's Edition of, of uh, the Guinness Book of World Records in 2016, which is pretty cool stuff, if, if I do say so myself. And it's because of you guys. So I attribute this to you. I would not have even continued if you hadn't watched and liked and subscribed and basically begged for more. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much. It's all because of you. Uh, so anyway, here's our Heidi Hole number one. The very first one because it's not our only one. We got others. So this is where we spent that first night. Pretty cool stuff. 
Uh, now, crafting tables back then were called, called workbenches, and this is our very first workbench. First workbench in the world! Pretty cool, right? And that's where we spent that first night. Nine minutes, that whole episode, and that was that. And then uh, I made the second episode, which turned out to be... Well, not here. I think we got up, and then we went to find um, cows. Cows to make leather armor, and that's right over here. So here's, here's a little trivia for you. In fact, when I uploaded that video, the very first one, How to Survive Your First Night, it was uh, July, end of July 2010. And I uploaded it um, in the morning, and then I took my family. Well, we hopped in the car, and we drove up to Niagara Falls in Canada. And the whole way up, my iPhone was going nuts. Notifications from YouTube telling me, you have new subscribers. You received a like on your video. It was pretty it was beeping and pinging. I don't remember the noise it made, but uh, it was nonstop the whole way up. I was getting email notifications from YouTube, and it was insane. I couldn't believe it. Um, so, again, thank you very much for your, your support. Um, if you had been watching back then, that's pretty cool. So, anyway, episode two, we looked for cows. We, found, we didn't find cows anywhere. It was driving me nuts. But finally, we've, I, I saw one up here, and I started pillaring up. Here's my original pillar. And what did the cow do? He jumped down. Yeah. Plop, and he exploded, and I don't remember even if we got leather from him or not. But we ended up making our leather eventually. We made a leather armor. Uh, we made the leather armor, the full suit, maybe? I don't really remember, but again, I will put links down below to that play the uh, playlist to that first, uh, that first series, and you guys can go watch it. But don't judge me, please. It was very cringy. I was horrible at this. I had no idea what to do. Um, I was really monotone and, and kind of boring, if you ask me, but... Things got better as I got more comfortable. I was just really nervous. It was weird and awkward talking to yourself. Like <clears throat> like right now, essentially. Yeah. But you get used to it. Anyway, hidey hole number two. Here we go. We spent the night here. Pretty cool stuff. Day three. What did we do? I think we did combat training. Right over here we fought um, maybe a spider? I think I was showing you guys how to fight. Right? I mean, you can't survive in Minecraft without knowing how to fight. Um, I'm not sure what else we did in that episode, but eventually we decided to move. And let's follow the pillars here, Polly. Um, here we go. Yeah. So sooner or later, we decided to pack up and find a location to build a base. And uh, here we go. I remember walking out on this ledge right here and seeing this spot. It was beautiful. We had the valley right here, the lava. There was a pool, natural pool of water right there. I wanted to make a hot tub. <laughs> You saw this ledge here for Cozy Cottage, and then this hill, which um, I wanted to make a tower on. Cloud Tower, we called it, because it was up in the clouds. And that was our, our basic uh, our base. So all this stuff here was created over time. Again, over 38 episodes um, covering various things in Minecraft as they were added and introduced by... Is that a dolphin in my trap? Oh, <laughs> look at this! We have a pot of dolphins! In our old monster grinder! That's what this thing was, it was a drowner. What did we name it? And in the water, the drowned. Is there a sign over here? Hold on. This is nine years ago, guys. I don't remember this stuff. One trap to bring them all. And in the water, drown them. Right, Lord of the Rings. Um, oh, look at them swimming through the bottom here! You guys are having fun down here, huh? That's so cute. Well, we used to slay monsters in here because monsters would fall in and they get sucked down and they would drown. Right? And then we would just be in here laughing and uh, we would collect their materials right here. So, pretty fun trap. Sit fairly effective and a whole lot of fun to watch all them uh, mobs drown in the middle of the night. We would just hide in here and wait. And uh, we were perfectly safe. Wow, nice leap! It's not a lot of water here, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, Minecraft has changed quite a bit since then. And obviously, I'm playing with 1.14 right here. So, we're going to have all the new stuff that did not exist back in the day. And a lot of the stuff don't, doesn't even work anymore. Like, if a zombie... Zombies don't drown anymore. They just turn into a drown, right? So, clearly, this crap is not going to work anymore. Um, so, what do we do next? I mean, I'm not going to follow along chronologically because I don't really remember how it went, but... We can at least take a look at some of the stuff we built. I do remember this. We made the hot tub. Um, this was pretty early. This is all natural. Oh, the jukebox. I remember when the jukeboxes came out. 
I think that was added sometime around the nether, right? The Halloween update, big Halloween update. And we went to the nether for the first time and we made, we got netherrack, which back in the day was called bloodstone. You may not know that, that's trivia. <laughs> Um, so I think this all came out about the same time. I'm not sure about the brick, but I remember I remember when brick came out, and we uh, we made brick, and we made this awesome um, hearth and chimney and paintings. Paintings came out at some point as well. Again, this this map goes back so far. We didn't even have chickens when I first started. Oh yeah, so we made cozy cottage, and this was a fun build. I got it off uh, Minecraft forums. Leo Stereo, I think, was the originator. Ooh. Ah. Okay, yeah, welcome home. <laughs> Sounds haunted. I don't know what happened. What do we have? Do we have cat here? I love cat. I love cat. Let's throw some cat on there. Um, so, yeah. Found this design on the forums, and I decided to whip it up. And it became kind of my, uh, my signature build. I make it pretty much on every map. Wow, that is super loud all the way over here. Let's go shut that off. All right, cat, that was fun while it lasted. Get out of here. Um, so what else did we do? Oh, the water elevator. These were great. Yeah, you put a boat in it, and then you float up. Right, it would bring you up super fast. Hi, buddy, but it doesn't work anymore. Boats, boats sink <laughs> in these things now. But it was fun while it lasted because you could get up really fast on a boat. It was an elevator, essentially. It was really cool. And now it's just an aquarium. <laughs> oh, wow. It works for you, doesn't it? <laughs> going down? What floor? Oh, nope. Going back up. Dude, come on. That's rude. Going up and down like that. Nobody likes that. Cloud Tower. This was a very, very early build. I remember making Cloud Tower. And this part right here, this was added when Sandstone originally came out. So, yeah, going back to those days, there were secret Friday updates, and you never knew what was coming, and Notch would add new stuff in those Friday updates, and it was like Christmas every day, your birthday, I mean, every Friday, because you never knew what you are going to get, and it was so fun trying to figure it out. And I remember making this. I remember when dispensers were added. I remember when redstone was added. <laughs> now, before all that was added, we just had a very simple, simple way to defeat the enemy, and that was down here. We would whack their feet and let them in. This is before we had the wall around. Monsters would uh, congregate outside and we just chop them up. Tart number one, manual trigger. Oh, we have a manual trigger here too. <laughs> Forgot about that. And turret number two, manual trigger. You had a whole turret system down here. Man, it is so cool to see all this stuff and the way I left it. What a mess. Sheesh. Not even organized. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, all right, let's get out of Cloud Tower. So the way this worked was, as the game evolved, I would um, I would make an episode to cover the new materials and new stuff that was added to the game. Like I said, the uh, when the sandstone was added, dispensers were added. Um, hold on a second. Let's let's make it. Let's just make it day. Um, rail. There's a perfect example. I remember when minecarts were added. Minecarts and rail, and we made this whole rail system. I wonder, oh, we do have minecarts. Now this is before the time of red, oh no, there's redstone, okay. Yeah, all right, let's, let's take a little ride then. Choo choo! Oh man, it's so nice to be back in the old world. Look at Cloud Tower back there, guys. That's awesome. I remember making this up so super high so the monsters couldn't get us up here, right? Yeah, does it stop automatically? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay, we're going. I did have a switch up there to turn it. Oh, where are we going now? Okay, it ends here and... All right, look at that. It almost still works, kind of, sort of. It does. <laughs> Pretty sweet. But I remember when all this came out and we built this together. And by the way, this part right here was not originally a snowy biome. But snow was added at some point. These bi snowy biomes are added, and suddenly it was converted to a snowy biome, and everything got covered in snow, and my awesome little uh, bay here got turned into ice, and my boats <laughs> got frozen under the ice. Crazy. Hi, buddy. Oh, you want to come out? Come on out of there, pal. Oh, you poor little guy. Get that boat out, too. Yeah, so this got all frozen when the, uh, when the cold wave hit um you know global warming or climate change or whatever 
Um, here's some glowstone. Of course, it was called light stone when it first came out. And I remember showing you guys that you could put glowstone underwater. And it lit up underwater. Right? How awesome was that? So here's my whole testing area. And with every new update, I would show you guys the new stuff right here. We'd test it all out. Remember, half slabs. Uh, beds. For the first time, I remember when beds were added. It was kind of a bittersweet day. Right? I mean, yes, you can set your spawn point. But then again, you could sleep through the night. And all that fun you're missing out on. The fun stuff at night. Um, sugar cane, I guess, was added at some point, and I showed you that. So, we had the, uh, music blocks here. We did some music stuff. Oh, my gosh. Holy smokes. You know what this is? It was, anyway. I remember when giant mushrooms came out. <laughs> you could grow them from regular mushrooms, right? And turn them into giant mushrooms. And I loved mushroom houses. I love them so much that we started carrying around little mushrooms in our pocket with some bone meal and it was a portable instant shroom shelter I called it the PISS but then I thought well wait a minute PISS that's probably not the best acronym so I changed it to portable instant mushroom shelter instead so it was a PIMS <laughs> instead of a PISS and then we went to the nether for the first time yeah let's go to the nether and see what's there I don't think I ever built much in the nether but it's worth taking a look. Yeah, let's go there first, and then we'll go um, have a look at some of the... Oh, wait a second. Before we go to the nether, i got to show you guys something. Oh, yes. Right here. The first chicken interrogation. Unfortunately, there's no sign here. But episode number... It was the nether episode, I'm pretty sure. We uh, I did my Matrix impression uh, and burned and, well, interrogated a chicken right there. Yeah, fun stuff. Um, all right, let's go to the nether and check it out. I hope this works. I don't know. Oh, we're here. We need to go deeper. Oh, what happened? They created a new uh, a new portal on top of my original portal, which is right here. Ooh, open up. Yeah, here's the original portal. Huzzah. Got anything good in there? Not really. Bloodstone. <laughs> all right, let's get out. Yeah, so I remember building this up to protect the uh the portal because it's right on the edge oh here's a portable instant mushroom shelter right here of pims i told you because you can carry one little mushroom and some bone meal and make an instant shelter and hop in quick i don't think we did much here because it wasn't really much to do um in the second series of my uh survive and thrive series we did the fortress and we built a um I think a, uh, like a farm to farm, to farm, uh, nether wart, right? Because nether wart can only be grown in the nether back in the old days. All right, I hope this brings us back home. Yeah, it did. Okay, perfect. All better. So, all right. Yeah, I remember when enchantment tables came out. We did some enchanting. I don't remember what this is all about. Just a bed, safe bed, I guess. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, wool, colored wool, brewing, all the brewing that we did here. I remember doing that. All right, cool. And then over here, we had our water elevator. So, yeah, if you wanted to get up and down quickly, you could use these water elevators. Of course, they don't work anymore. But they used to back in the old days. And it was pretty common place to find them in a base. So here's our underground area. I remember this. The off manager's office out to lunch. <laughs> travel. Nether travel pack. A whole bunch of loot here. Alright. I, I do remember this to the surface. It goes back up. Um, this is where we first saw the very first spy chicken. And when I came up with that name, it was up here somewhere on a ledge just staring at us. We were doing some work down here, and I looked up, and he was just looking at us. And that's what gave me the idea that we were being spied upon. I don't remember exactly where that was, but it was down here somewhere. Oh, yeah, we did an underground living series. And we grew trees, sugarcane. Uh, we had an underground um, animal farm, right? This is an animal farm, as far as I know. What we used to do is grind them right here, right? Yo, yeah, the lava blade. Watch this. 
Lava blade, have fun guys. Oh, watch out for that, it burns. Yeah, all spies anyway, so. So that, the lava blade would kill them, and the water would take their goodies and flow it down to a spot. Oops, I don't know what's in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> somewhere down here, I think I might have a stair for that. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, right here. Right here. And there's all the goodies. We just collect them over here. Yeah, I don't know if I ever finished this, but uh, it, it works. Still works to this day. At least somewhat. All right, pretty cool. Let's talk about my first death. Let's go over here. Uh, my first death was down here, wasn't it? I think so. Unexplored lava and monsters. Right. Okay, yes, I remember this. I remember my first diamonds. I don't remember which episode it was, but... Descend for girl's best friend. Which was diamonds, the old days. Uh, and we found our first diamonds right here. And I left a whole bunch of stuff behind. But we got the diamonds, and then I remember my first death was down... Was it down here? I think my first death was down here. Yeah, this was all lava. Right, I fell into lava. And then I, uh, I got out of it real quick, poured water on myself, I put the fire out, and then I was super happy that I had, uh, I had survived. And then I saw, I think there was redstone over here I came over to get, and I built this little bridge, and then I uh, got the redstone, and on my way out, hey, Spy Chicken was here. Um, on, a, on the way out, a zombie fell from above and punched me into that lava, and I died. And lost everything. So, yeah, lesson learned, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. So, there you go. First death. Now, let's go back over here. There was a dungeon here, too, right? Um, elevated to, to certain death, the dungeon. Yeah, the dungeon was down here somewhere, right? Continue for pain and suffering. Yeah, we found a dungeon. Natural dungeon. Yeah, right here it is. Okay. I remember making the, this trap. This is a drowning trap. Clearly isn't going to work anymore. Because zombies don't drown. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the zombies would fall in there. They'd flow down, get stuck here, and drown in the water. And when they drown, they would die. Again, back in the olden days. And then we could just sit here and collect their loots. Of course, I don't think we even had hoppers back in, that, in those days. Otherwise, I could have just put a hopper here, right? And a chest beneath it. And the thing would have been fully automated. But yeah, it doesn't work anyway anymore because the zombies will not drown. Well, they do, but they'll turn into drown. Anytime now. Oh, there we go. Yep. They turned into drown. So this trap is now obsolete. Unfortunately. I guess you could just slaughter them, but... All right. Uh, I think we're pretty much out of time here. How do we get out of here? Uppity up, up, up. Oh, have we ever been over here before? What's this say? Unexplored zombies. Oh, this is all unexplored. All right, well, we had not gone down there yet. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you guys. I remember this mushroom farm. This is my mushroom farm. Yeah, right here. So before mushrooms were growable with bone meal, you had to find them, and then uh, they only grew underground and where it was dark. See, I think back in the old days, it didn't have to be dark. So, which is why I have these um, torches up here. But let's just get rid of the torches. Well, they're not going to grow now, but let's see if this thing still even works. So the whole idea was to get the mushrooms to grow down here in these two channels. I had red and brown. And then you crank up the water. And it would pluck the mushrooms and bring them right down to you. <laughs> and it worked pretty well, but just... Not too much longer after I made that thing, um, big mushrooms were added. Giant mushrooms, which you can just chop up. And the whole mushroom biome, so. It, it became obsolete. Very, very sad. A lot of this stuff was rendered obsolete with new updates. Well, I think, uh, I think we're done. I think we're done here. That was pretty much all of it. Um, there might be some other little things here and there that I missed, but... For the most part, this became this world became obsolete, and we ended it when version 1.0 came out, and I restarted from scratch with the uh, with the new map. So maybe we'll do a tour of that. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. Give this video a like. 
and we'll maybe go back to the uh, to the new series, the one that goes up to episode 89, where we fight the Ender Dragon. So that one's definitely more complete, and it has more of the um, you know more of the modern uh, Minecraft stuff in it, whereas this one is uh, is super super old. Uh, so anyway. That's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed our little trip down memory lane and the tour of the original Minecraft tutorial world, Survive and Thrive, oldest LP in the world right here. Again, thanks to you guys for pushing me. I almost quit a few times, but um, I didn't, and I'm glad I didn't. And uh, I really do thank you and appreciate every single one of you for your support over the years. And I hope you enjoyed this little nostalgia. I sure did. Kind of brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> I miss it. I miss the old simple days of Minecraft sometimes. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. See you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.